Greetings, it's Eric Baker, a naturopath from New Zealand. I'm the author of Candida Crusher and the formulator of the Candida range of products. Thanks so much for looking at the video. Thanks also for tuning in. It's been a long time since I've posted any videos on the Candida Crusher channel, so I do appreciate the fact that you're looking at this video now. Also, thank you so much to the people who subscribe to this channel, in spite of the fact that I haven't put any videos up for a long, long time. So this video is basically aimed at people who have been really cont uh, bombarding me and contacting me continuously with questions about the Canzita product range. I've had a lot of uh, very, very good feedback through the YouTube channel. I've also had a lot of questions from people from many different countries wanting to know how to take the Canzita products. All right, so this video is aimed for those people. It's not aimed at a sales push or a promotion or you know saying that my product's superior over other people's products or so please don't you know put any hate mail or, or, or spam me with all these awful comments because they'll all be deleted anyway so so it's not a sales push right but I'm going to now describe a little bit on the most effective use of Canzita how you can take it when to take it when not to take it etc and it's based on, on experience treating a lot of people with this product range now since 2013. Quite a few people I've worked with with the product range and so I can speak from a, a reasonably good skill set. So I'm not going to go into why I created Canzita and the benefits and advantages of this product. If you go to the link in the description box below and click on that link canzita.com you can read all about that. Okay, So I'm not going to waste your time doing that. I'm just going to cut to the chase and explain about the products, the dosages, right? Let's start with Canzita Remove. This product here, you may be familiar with this one or have seen this one here. The one with the red on top called Remove. So this is the first product I made for you know, the Canzita line. I got very frustrated after using so many products and found that so many were ineffective. You know, I got partial results. So I thought it's time to make something that, you know, that's going to really work well on people on a broad range of, of problems in terms of parasites, fungi, SIBO, you know, bacteria, irritable bowel syndrome, and Canzita Remover certainly delivered, you know, when it comes to helping people. The dosage on this product is quite simple. You'll see here it says directions take one to three tablets with food or is directed by your healthcare professional. So I generally start patients on one tablet twice or three times per day with food, okay? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or breakfast and dinner are good times. And about 60 to 70% of people can go straight into that mode of two to three per day. The duration of treatment, it's difficult. It depends really on what we're, we're talking at. Are we talking at a person with uh, a minor bacterial imbalance? Are we talking at a major bacterial problem? Are we looking at somebody with lots of candida, parasites, and bacteria? Are we looking at somebody with a minor candida issue? So a good way to determine that is through testing. So stool testing, as you know, is, is to me is, is very, very important uh, for chronic cases in particular. Your healthcare professional can do a stool test for you. Uh, I'm sure you can find somebody who can do that. So if you know you've got a big problem, uh, you need to be careful, at, obviously, at the onset. Don't take a lot of stuff if you think you've got a big problem. So the bigger the problem and the bigger solution you counter it with can be a big aggravation. It makes sense. It makes perfectly good sense. So go nice and slow if you think there's issues. Start on one tablet. If you're super sensitive, start on a half a tablet. But generally one tablet for three or four days will give you an idea on how your digestion and more importantly, the imbalance in the gut, how that is being countered by remove. Okay, And then you'll soon be able to you know, judge. If you see a swimming pool in front of you and you're not sure of the water temperature, are you just going to strip down and jump in? Or you're going to put your little toe in first, feel it, and then your foot, and then probably someone's going to push you in anyway. You know what it's like with a swimming pool. Anyway, children. Children. Let's talk about kids with Canzita Remove. So kids, it depends a lot on their body weight and their vitality. You know, if they're very energetic kids, if they've got a very strong vital force, a very powerful body. Generally, they need a little bit more than kids who tend to be weaker and more sensitive. You're going to use a lesser dose on them. Fussy eaters, smaller dose. Kids that eat everything and lick their plate and their brother's plate clean can usually get a little bit more. Be careful of children with a lot of allergies, uh, you know, or on medications. You may need to again cut the tablet down, you know, appropriately. So, 
it's difficult to put a dosage on an age because it really depends on the robustness of the child, the energy, you know, and their body weight. Some younger children can be quite big today, you know, obesity or big kids. They may almost need like a semi-adult dose. Other children will need lesser dosage. So I would say for the average child, let's say between 7 to 14, you're looking between 1, maybe 2 tablets a day. If you're looking at under seven, you could be looking at uh, one or half or quarter of a tablet. The tablets can easily be cut with a tablet cutter. You can also crush these tablets quite easily, grind them up, and then mix them in with a drink or put them on food. So it's not a problem uh, in dosing this for a child. Okay? Mixing it in with a smoothie with some blueberries uh, or some green apple is quite an acceptable way to do it too. With a little bit of rice protein powder, for example. I made up a smoothie for my son the other day with remove and it, and it tasted perfectly fine. Okay, Now remember, you're taking this with food. How long do you take Kanzita Remove for? As long as you need to get benefit from Kanzita Remove. So as your symptoms decrease, which they usually will over about a two to three month period, you taper the dosage down. Okay. Different dosing strategies. You can go short-term high dose, you can go long-term low dose, and you can go intermediate, medium term. So you may want to treat things a bit more aggressively and take three per day. I've got some patients who take six per day, you know, two tablets three times per day. They'll do that for say three or four weeks, back off, and then drop to one or two tablets per day. So cycling works quite well. You don't need to alternate Kanzi to remove <clears throat> and rotate it with other products because there's everything in this product that you need. All right? This product was made after looking at a lot of stool tests and a lot of um, you know, clinical skill in, in terms of looking at varying products patients were using. I don't find it necessary to rotate one product with another. Remove does the job and I've seen that now with thousands of patients. So okay, Dosage, one to three, children, a bit less. Duration, as long as you need it. Always with food. If you're going to do a stool test, you will stop this product a week before any kind of stool test. The second product is Kanzita Restore. So this product helps to work beautifully with Remove. They balance each other out. So Remove cleanses the gut. It helps to tidy up high numbers of bad bacteria. It will help to slowly bring them down. It will actively kill uh, fungi and yeasts in the gut and Restore will come in there and help to clean up and finish off the job. It will do that because it's, it's based uh, on an enzyme probiotic formula. So if you're taking currently a probiotic formula and an enzyme formula, it makes more sense to have them combined and to make sure that the enzymes are compatible with the probiotics. Okay? It's a special skill and a knack uh, that a, a clinician develops to understand how to marry those two things up successfully. So I believe it's very important if you understand that if you're not taking an enzyme formula at the moment and you're taking an antimicrobial and a probiotic, you're missing the boat. You really are. The enzymes make all the difference. They help um, you in, in, in a very special way by allowing the body, it assists the body to help break down the carbohydrates more, the fats more, and the proteins more. It's going to improve digestion and absorption. And more importantly, it's going to allow the gut further down in, in the bowel, the small intestine particularly, to be able to ferment the food residues properly, convert that to energy okay, and fuel for the cells and improve immune function. And there's a whole lot of reasons why enzymes are, are, are important. So the probiotics, we've picked some of the best strains in here. Dosage, again, two per day, sometimes three per day for extra support, one with each meal. One twice a day is good for two to three months. One capsule per day for one year is a very good way to approach it. Always try and take Restore and Remove together as a tandem pair. They work a lot better that way. The third product and final in this series is called Kanzita Rebuild. I started to realize that people were missing out because they were using multivitamins from Costco or from Walmart or you know from, from iHerb or all kinds of stuff. And the problem with a lot of these... Uh, multivitamins is they weren't really made for people with digestive problems, with candida problems. These are just overall multivitamins. This product is very unique in that it's got a back end uh, of a whole bunch of different herbs in there that are antimicrobial. Okay? I even put gum mastica in here, a particular gum a resin from a tree that is uh, proven uh, scientifically shown to have a very positive effect on Helicobacter pylori. 
This is an outstanding product for people with H. pylori, but it's also good for irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease, constipation and diarrhea cases, anywhere where there's any kind of level of gut imbalance that involves you know, microbes, it's going to work. It works uh, passively in the background. It's going to supply your body with all the, all the uh, minerals and vitamins you need. Dosage, one to two per day is usually adequate. For more support, you can actually crush one up, for example, have it with a smoothie in the morning. You can have one with lunch. You can have one with dinner. You can do that for a good month or two and build up your health and then reduce to one or two per day. Children, one per day. Crush it up, put it in a drink, uh, and it won't be a problem at all. So the rebuild, the restore, and the remove form a beautiful team that can either try it. It's going to work quite well for you, so I'd recommend you have a look at that. Keep an eye on uh, YouTube because I will be talking about Canzita Boost, the fourth product in the series that uh, we hope to be uh, releasing, which is going to be a fantastic adjunct and just offer a lot more uh, uh, power uh, to this trio. So I hope this video um, gave you some good insight uh, you know, into the dosages. Um, and as, as I mentioned before, if you want to learn a lot more about the formulas, more in depth, go to canzita.com. Don't forget yeastinfection.org. The website I created, um, which is um, an incredible amount of information on it for you. There's the YouTube channel. Don't forget my yeast quiz that you can do. The yeast infection quiz, which I spent a lot of time creating. Um, thank you again for the positive feedback on that. And looking forward to hearing some comments and feedback down below. Thanks for tuning in.